what makes a tessellation work structurally and what is most visually appealing about it can be two completely disconnected things. So in this tessellation, the structural parts are this closed square on the front, closed square on the back, and double open square on the back. That sets up the symmetry and gives us a free space where I can put whatever the heck square I want around the closed square on the front. And actually half of the squares in the entire tessellation are these that are not occupying the positions of rotational symmetry. So they're also the most abundant square. And I have completely free choice to put whatever square I want as long as it's actually a square and not a hybrid twist.